So um, to go along with that, some other interesting things in the phone news uh, this last week, we've been talking about the conspiracy theories about the Pixel 3, uh, yeah. the, the leaks that have been happening with it, have they been intentional? And then there was rumors about the Pixel 3 Ultra, another phone that would not have this terrible, ugly notch. And um, so we finally got some answers this week. And uh, the the answers came from two uh, video bloggers. So the first is Brandon from This Tech Today, and the one that made it really famous is John Prosser from Front Page Tech. And basically, they were the ones talking about these rumors and, and really spreading it. And they said they finally got to talk to um, an engineer that works for Google and is actually on the team for designing the Pixel 3. What did they say? Well, first they had to lock down all these security protocols, you know, using VPNs and any messaging we do has to be on an app that will delete everything within a few seconds so that there was really no trace. Um, but they said the leaks were not intentional. We thought they were. Uh, you and I talked about it as a way to drum up buzz. Um, but it turns out that the leaks were not intentional. It came from Foxconn's factory in China where they install the LG screens and that that's where some of the prototypes or uh, a bunch of prototypes were stolen. And so that the leaks happened, but then Google didn't try to stop the leaks. They actually allowed leaks to continue to happen so that they could find who is the source of the leaks oh, and, and try smart. to plug the holes. So according to uh, their inside source, um, they weren't on purpose, but then they didn't try to stop it. Um, but unfortunately, that means that it's going to have a beastly notch at the top, right? It's not going to be notchless. Yes. So to get to the Pixel 3 Ultra, which is this bezel-less, notchless phone that we're all hoping was going to show up and, and save um, the Pixel brand, doesn't look like it's coming. So if you remember back in January, Google purchased HTC. Um, it purchased their phone design team. And so now, essentially, they had two teams. They had the original Pixel team, and then they have this HTC team, and, and the original um, Pixel 3 team. So when they purchased it, the Pixel 3 team was already four months into development. And you can't just bring a whole new team with all their tools and all their uh, equipment into the lab and say, use these guys. So basically what they did is they said, According to this inside source, HTC team with all the bells and whistles and cool equipment, you're now working on the Pixel 4, which is coming out next year. Current team, you continue with the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL, and if people aren't going to like it, it won't matter because you're done when this is over anyways. Wow, interesting. So apparently this engineer was on the Pixel 3 team doesn't expect to stick around for the Pixel 4. Looks like he's already been replaced by this new team that was purchased with HTC. So I guess we'll we'll uh, look forward to see what happens.